right, guys. So we gotten this far with the with the table. I did the aprons on here. Uh, they look real nice. I actually did these out of popular, a lot harder wood. Uh, the neighbor was kind enough to give them to me. So I uh, uh, I mounted these with two screws, and then I glued them, and then I put them back on here. Well, I mounted them with the screws. I took it off. I glued them, glued the two by four face. Put them back on here, and I think I'm going to take the screws out, maybe put some big uh, walnut circles on here or something, give it a little prettier look. So I did take my plane, and I put this apron just about a eighth of an inch high, and I uh, I took the uh, the top down flush with the tabletop, so you don't catch nothing with your hand. It's real nice. I did come back and put a vice device on. Uh, pretty happy with it. <laughs> Got a little speed button on there. Uh, the vice is by Yodi, Yashi, Yodi, Yost, Yost Vice. Amazon, I think it was $68. So I'm pretty happy with it. Got one of these guys here. You can lift it up, tighten it down, put your board in here. Board's a little, a little warped. But yeah, you take it, put your your wood dogs in here, and pour stuff into it. Hold your piece still, and you can plane over the top of it. So besides that, I'm pretty happy with it. Good and solid. <clears throat> I did hand plane the whole top down. That took that took a long time, <laughs> but I learned a lot with it. I learned a lot about planing. Uh, how to match both sides. You know, I took my straight edge and I took it across both sides to match the top, make sure there was no gaps underneath of it. About like this. Just kept watching out for it and taking taking out what was up high and what was low. So that's ah, good enough. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll tell you what though, just having this vice up here rolling around on it. I mean, it puts little indentions in this pine wood that it's soft. It is soft. So, but you know, you got plenty of stock on there. You could always take this and plane it down a little bit, and then put your lint, your uh, boiled linseed oil on there, and just butter it up again. You know, and just uh, you know, fine tune it. Keep throwing uh, the boiled linseed on there, and you get a lot of bad spots, say two, three years from now, you just kind of plane it down and get all that good. But man, there's no shake to it whatsoever. It's heavy duty. I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to add another vice down here at this other end. Then if you have a board, you know, you could lock it in and work it down or whatever. I don't know if you'd put one here, if you'd put one down here. The only thing I'm not too happy with is I tried to just put a little hole insert in there and just sneak the vise in so you wouldn't see all that. But the lag has to go right behind this plate, and there was no way to get anything on there. So I had to end up cutting it straight down. So I'm thinking about putting the pieces back in there. I had to remove the pieces that I removed, sneak them back in here. And put that back behind there, make it look nice again, but make them where they're removable. So I'll have to get in there and do that later. These pieces I cut off the aprons are going to match real nice. I'll go ahead and install these in here, and then that'll make that look a little bit better. You don't really see down in there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, I wanted a table like this forever, a long time. So I had the little uh, bonus room here, and I'm able to have my table. and still got plenty of space around here, so it's going to be real nice. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll do some more videos on applying the boiled linseed. I'm going to sand it. It's real smooth from the planer. 
but I'm just going to sand it just a hair, just kind of get the uh, scrape marks. You know, man, they're probably 5,000 to take those on out of there. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned.